What's up everybody? Welcome to my pixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Today, we're just going to take a quick look at cold folding for those who are familiar with it. It's a nice little feature that can save you time and keep you organized. So let's get right in there and see what it's all about. Here we just have some code to help illustrate what cold folding is. Before we begin, let me first explain how to enable cold folding. I believe that cold folding is enabled by default, but just in case yours isn't enabled, I'll show you how to turn it on. So for that, we're going to go up here to the editor. We're going to go to editor settings. Under the general tab here, we're going to go into the text editor section. Under there, we're going to look for line numbers. And then if we click that, we'll see over here, there's a section for cold folding and it's turned on currently, right? So if it's you can turn it off and you can do this uh, little reset to default button and that'll turn it on. Yeah, so yeah, I was right. So by default, it's on. But in any case, that's how you turn it on. So with that said, let's uh, get started taking a look at what it does. So code folding is a feature which lets you fold or hide blocks of code. Another way to say it is that you're able to hide the indented portion of a section or block of code. So what does that mean? Well, let's start with the ready function here. This function is its own block. If we go ahead and we click this downwards or upside down caret symbol. Actually, I looked it up and I think it's called a Karen or something like that. That was the first time I've ever read it. But in any case, whatever you call it, it's where we can choose to hide or show our block of code. So if we click it, we see that the editor folds or hides all the code that is contained in that block. If we want to show the code again, we can just click the arrow here. Or let's hide it once more. We can click these uh, three dots or I think it's called an ellipsis. That's over here. Either way, we can hide and show our code again. Let's take a look at another example with some nested blocks of code. So for that, we're just going to go down a little bit. Uh, where's a good place? Okay, how about this? Right, so over here what we have is we have an if statement going down here and then inside of that if statement we have another if statement. So with code folding I can choose to hide just the inside block or I can hide everything inside of the outside block. So just the same way we hid the uh, code in the ready function. If I just want to do this inside if block, you see it's already put that little downward symbol there for me. I can just click that, hide this individual section, or if I want, I can hide this and the rest of this in here. Everything inside of this outside if block. Pretty easy. And then if I wanted to go even further, I could go up here and let's say I wanted to hide everything in this whole physics function. So that'd be everything in here, everything in here, and actually consequently everything all the way to the bottom of this, this script here. And I can do that pretty easily like that. Okay, so some of you might be saying, well, that's great, but I really don't see how this is going to help me out. Now, if you don't have very many lines of code, then code folding really may not help you very much. However, if you have a script that is several hundred lines of code, you will begin to enjoy and appreciate this feature. So let's go ahead and open a script that's a little bit longer to uh, better illustrate what I'm talking about. A lot of times you might be working on your code and you're actually finished coding a certain feature or section of your script, you're all done with it, and you're no longer working on that actively. Now if that section of code is several hundred lines long, it would be nice if you didn't have to constantly scroll through that section of code just to reach the area that you're currently working on. And with code folding, you can hide all that code to navigate through the rest of your code quicker. So. I don't know if this will be a very good example, but let's just say this if dead or if this if is dead over here, this this block of code goes quite a bit down. We see it starts at line 25 here. If we hide it, it went all the way up to line 90. So let's say we're all done with this over here and then we know it works. We've tested it out. It's good. And we just want to 
continue working our script or maybe we're currently working on fixing this function over here. What I was saying is it'd be nice if every time maybe I adjusted something up here, I didn't have to scroll through all this code over here. Now, again, this is only, you know, several dozen lines of code, but if you've got maybe several hundred lines of code, that that can get old pretty quick, constantly scrolling back and forth to get through it. But with code folding, I can say, hey, I'm all finished with this. I don't need to see it. I don't need to be confused by it or, you know, get caught up in it, push it to the side. And then I can get to working on the stuff that really needs my attention. Now, another situation where you might find code folding helpful is when you're trying to see whether or not you've put your code in the correct block. Now, once you get into nesting if statements inside of loops, inside of maybe more loops and more if statements and other conditional expressions, it could get very easy to get lost and then make mistakes with your indentations and you know then you've got some sort of logic error, right? Because a mistake in your indentation level will produce, une I mean, it could produce very unexpected errors that could be pretty hard to track down sometimes. So you can use code folding to check that your code is actually contained in the correct block. So let's take a look right down here. Okay, let's use this. So let's say that you want to make sure that this velocity y, this velocity y plus equals gravity, you want to make sure that this is contained inside of this if is dead function, right? Because you figure it out, you know it needs to be inside this, uh, not, I'm sorry, not function, this if is dead, uh, this if statement here. If is dead is equal to false. You know it needs to be in here. But once you scroll all the way down here, it's kind of hard to see, right? You know, you're trying to count indent levels and see, hey, you know, am I really indented, indented the right amount? Now, what you can do very easily with code folding is I'll take this if is dead, uh, this block, and I'll just go ahead and hide all the code in that block, right? So I want to be able to see if velocity to y gravity is in that block. So if I hide all the code in that block, I shouldn't see that velocity is gravity anymore. So let's go ahead and hide that. Right? Now we don't see any of the code in there until this next function, this, this function down here. So if we open this back up, and we see velocity gravity, and it's above this dead function. So now we know that this code is properly contained inside of here, because if it wasn't and we hit it, then we'd still be able to see it. Actually, if, uh, if we want, we can actually test that out. So let's go ahead and take this velocity or this, uh, this statement, and let's just go ahead, hit backspace, unindented by one level. All right, we might get some errors and all kind of stuff like that, but uh, let's just roll with that for now. All right, so previously, excuse me, previously when we hit it, the next thing after uh, that if statement was this next function over here. Let's see if that's the case now. So we'll hide again, where we'll fold our code. Hmm, all right, so really quickly we can see we wanted this to be contained in here. But it's obviously not because we folded all the code and it's still lingering, hanging out out here. Right? So we go ahead and... Hey, that, that needs to be in there. Whoops. We fix it. And then we just verify. There we go. Now we know we're all ready to roll. Now, for those of you who still aren't convinced that this is a useful feature, I think you're just going to have to trust me on this one. You're going to get further along in your project, and then one day when you've got hundreds and hundreds of lines of code, you're going to think back and remember this video, I hope, and then discover your own reason why code folding is just an awesome feature to have. And that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. If you liked the video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, please feel free to leave me a line in the comments and you can let me know how things are working out for you and your project. So with that, we're going to call it a day. Thank you once again to everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.